the favourites in this one to take this match out. When you consider that they've got you know, so many of their Olympic medalists back. Here goes Brazil. Lovely wrap around there for Beren. They look great, Brazil. And look at this exploding away goes Arujo. Oh, Brazil. They look real good. It was six combining with seven there, Berendt, with Aurajo. So have a look at that wrap. Great balance for Berendt and a beautiful pass. And Aurajo, she had a really good short ball then, hit the space and at pace. And the conversion is away to the right, so the score stays. 7-5 in favour of Canada. And you'll see the black armbands being worn by the Brazilian side today. And that is in memory of all those lost, particularly from the Chapecoense soccer team. And that tragic plane crash over in Colombia. So the rugby world's thoughts with the Chapecoense soccer club in Brazil. And a nice touch from the Brazilian women's sevens team here today as well. Seven five. Looking ahead is Landry. There's plenty of room for Landry. Has she created? A try to go ahead a little further. She swoops, she pounces, and recycles now. They've got plenty of numbers here to the right. Canada. Burning the numbers to the right, doing it all herself. Watch him, Roy. Watch him, Roy bags the five pointer, but Landry did it all in preparation. Yeah, give that one to Landry. The way she looked up, she assessed that the Brazilians didn't have any sweeper back, kicked it through this, of course, the end of it. Let's watch him, Roy, finishing off. But, well, Landry, it's what they call great heads-up play, instinctive play, assessing on the spot, reacting. And that lady now not through the... Additional two, of course you can, from next to the sticks, and the score ticks over to 14-5 in favour of Canada. Right side again with a restart. Oh, trapping it between her legs was Campos. Did very well to retain possession there. They just get it wrong on this occasion with a switch. Brazil and Canada swoop in and now rumble it forward. Good luck stopping Kayla Maleski. Blast through the contact area. Comes out the other side and bags herself five points. Two aspects to that, panic and then pure strength. So the Brazilians panicked a little with the tactic, went for the wrong option. And then just have a look at Kayla Maleshi just rummaging through there like a little power truck. Obviously bagging a bronze medal in Rio, that woman there. And she said, Mel, that the bronze in her hand felt like gold. That's how much that meant to Kayla and the gang. And her side now head to the break. Up. 19 points to five over Brazil. Those three long breaths at the start of the break, and as well they might melt. 30 degrees right now here in the desert. Feels like about 50. Imagine being out there trucking around, chasing a Gilbert. Off the running again in this Pool C matchup between Canada and Brazil, where Canada are clear. 21 points to five is the score, and they shift it wide right off. The restart to the second half, looking to juice that far channel. And now they switch long to the left. That's forward out of the hands there of Rick Ben. Just want to talk about the Brazilian tactics on the kickoff. They're kicking deep, which means that the Canadian team had a really good platform to attack off, so they went wide one way and then came back to the left. It ended with that error, but that's really dangerous for Brazil. 
you want them to really kick the ball higher so that they can get their uh, defenders up to put pressure on Canada. Bind! Set. Good sharp work at the set piece from Brazil and they create here beautifully for Beren. Beren, she has Santini back in field. Santini dances past Maleski initially and then gets rounded up on the second go. No, go back. Killing off the base there of the ruck goes Kokan and she's held up. Well, the Americans say defense and that's exactly what happened there for Canada because it was Landry in the first place that somehow managed to defend that two-on-one situation. And then right here, Hannah Darling, big tackle, helped out by Farella, wrapped up the ball. Green ball, held up. Great D. Okay, girls. Gee, they did nice to Brazil, though, off the scrum feed, Mel Robinson. Sharp work down the short side, and Santini just could have Crunch. stepped another couple of metres to the left. She was in. Right Five. now, she'll feed the scrum. Set. Five from Set the pay up. zone, and gets it out of the back of the muscle. There go again, Santini, and they're in. Combining, oh, she's so good, this woman. Little Santini, the pocket rocket, knocks down. Under the crossbar. Yeah, pretty good cleanup, really. From the scrum, Berent was deep in the pocket there, tried to take on the defence of Maleski, popped up the ball, kept it alive, and beautiful individual effort there from Edna Santini. Beautiful footwork, that young lady, and a good little fend. Well, it, well it, 1.55 metres, 155 centimetres, and just 52 kilos. She's one of the smallest women screen, on the series. but. Screen. Every time she gets a hand on the ball, she creates opportunities for a side and was key in the lead up to that one. Yep, heart the size of a lion's. Don't forget the Brazilian team, they're called the Tupes, which is a mystical Brazilian female warrior, which loves to lure in and then attack. I, I don't really know where to take that comment, <laughs> Mel, but I will take your word for it. A mystical female from Brazil. It's a great name. Knock-off Can you give me the name again? Tupes. Number seven? With a T? Yeah. Tupes. Yeah. It's pretty cool. It's part of their culture um, that they brought in to their side. It's kind of the symbol of what they're about. Crouch! Well, as we said at the top of the broadcast, Mel, they probably... Crouch overachieved in some regards, Five, finishing ninth set. in Rio off the back of that vocal home crowd support. So they are in action on the HSBC Women's World Series and they are moving it to the left fringes via Skatrud. Campos. Campos gets her nose through the line and Chance here for Brazil. It's a good recycle, and there's some room too for Arujo. She's still going. She scored their opening try, and now clears the pass. She goes long. Long to Scutrud. Again, their attention's good. Canada do nicely, though, to make that spot tackle at the base of the ruck. At the back it comes. A great chance here. For Brazil to go in, and they'll do so. Terrific finish from Mulbauer, and we're going to be all locked up in just a second. The underdogs have arrived, and they are rocking Canada. So hard to defend that, because somehow the Brazilians managed to keep the ball alive, despite the fact, you know, it's dropping on the ground. It was a really good straighten-up, draw and pass in the end for Mulbauer to go over, but they are working this Canadian defence. Great Brazil. And there's their new coach, Ruben Samuels, just brought in. Kiwi, fantastic coach. He's been involved with women's rugby for a long time, and it looks like he's already having an impact. Pardon? We're all square. 19 apiece, Canada v Brazil. The Brazilians have never beaten Canada on the series. Could they have something special cooking here on day one? leg one of the HSBC World 7 Series. 
Oh, that's just going to catch a little patch of turf before hopping in a charge. So happy that they went to that tactic, really high kick off. Step off, step off. The Brazilians off. chased it. That meant Charity Williams didn't claim it, but instead Canada will get the line up. But this is an opportunity for Brazil to try and steal it. 100% instead of conceding the free kick at halfway. Can they get up and compete? That is easy pickings at the top of the jump for Bianca Ferrella. Off goes Lucan. Being forced to earn this one. Williams. Williams, she gets past the cover defence and she takes it the distance. That is a crucial try scored by Charity Williams. Well, that was an example of beautiful passing skills. The Canadian team kept their space and this young lady, Williams, stayed out wide, received a perfect pass, which she burst onto. And obviously, she's very fast because there was no way that defence from Brazil could get across and reel her in. Still time here for Brazil. Okay, Five points of difference. Landry looking to make it seven, and she hits it sweetly. Through it goes. So the margin out to seven with 25 to run. They really kept cool heads, didn't they, Canada? You have to admire that. Under pressure, they scored tied up and they managed to pull a try like that. We get a big chase on here and you can hear the full time hooter echoing around the ground. Can Brazil create a chance to level this one up? Great defense from Landry, gets a shoulder on and drives back her opposite number, Scatrut. That's textbook stuff from Landry. Scutrude, she gets past one, two, but coming back and making a big tackle, albeit a high one, Kaljuvi. Yeah, they're going to go hard on the high tackles, which is fair enough. That was a great little break, wasn't it? Scutrude, awesome work defensively from Kaljuvi as well. Just went a little high in contact, and now a big play. At the ruck, will give Canada the chance to just knock this one in a touch and walk away from their opening game with a win here in Dubai. Landry says that'll do. They walk away winners, but they were given an almighty prize from the Brazilians. Full time, Canada 26, Brazil 19.